Hello, my name is Kieran Ward. I'm a London based writer and I've just uh, completed my first book, Incomplete Circles The Memoirs and Travels of an Aging Schoolboy, which is a, a comic memoir of growing up in a small provincial town in Northern Ireland in the 1980s and early 90s. The chapter I'll be reading from is called Christian Brothers in Arms. Here we go. The Ireland correspondent of a, a well known London based daily newspaper once uh, wrote a short travel piece on Northern Ireland in which he stated places to avoid include almost all of County Tyrone which has so many nondescript grim one horse towns you can hear the collective horses hooves clock from across the border in Donegal I have found next to nothing to, to see or visit in that county Despite having the distinction of being to County Tyrone, uh, people what Salman Rushdie was to Islamic fundamentalists, this uh, particular journalist will no doubt have no interest in the fact that I happen to grow up in the largest of these so-called nondescript grim one-horse towns. Oma could be described as a passing through town where people simply enter and leave en route to the more tourist-friendly destinations of the Fermanagh Lakelands or the Donegal coast. The comedian Tony Hawks, for instance, uh, passed through the town during his famous hike around Ireland with a fridge, but didn't, but didn't stop to take in the view. Uh, similarly, the uh, travel writer Paul Theroux stops briefly in the town in his book The Kingdom by the Sea, describing the place as funereal. But this was probably on a wet Sunday afternoon, when there wasn't much happening in the town anyway. My grammar school, which I attended pro uh, from the age of 11 to 18, had a quite a large catchment area which covered uh, much more than almost urban sprawl. The surrounding hinterland is a, a largely rural region covering a, a lot of ground fields, mountains, lakes, valleys, boglands, woodlands, and no man's land. The area from which the pupils were drawn uh, stretched over a distance of about 40 miles from Strabane in the north of the county on the Donegal border to the Clogher Valley in the south of the county close to the borders with, with counties Fermanagh and Monaghan and from Ahiarn in the northwest to Ballygolly in the southeast. The staff room back in those days, the mid 80s that is, seems to be dominated by a, what I'll call the, the golden generation. Those born in the 1940s who were roughly the, the same age as our parents they had been the first uh, cohort of ordinary folks to go to, go to university following the introduction of, the, of free third level education back in the 1960s. And most of this uh, clique uh, in particular were from the local area and had been pupils at the school <laughs> back in the day. Some of them in fact would often reminisce on their own school days many moons ago. There were in fact three generations of teachers at the school. Some of the elder statesmen of the staff room had taught a number of the golden generation. The Golden Boys, in turn, had taught quite a few of the younger teachers back, back in the day. I recently had a look at my old school's website. I was quite relieved to find that about half a dozen of the teachers uh, who were there during my day, 20 years ago, are still on the staff list today. A fact that doesn't make me feel quite so old now. Needless to say, the school didn't have a website back in my, my day. Younger readers at this point will no doubt be thinking, Oh, here he goes again, another tirade, expecting me to launch into another embittered rant about how difficult life was back in the dark days of the 1980s compared to how, how easy things are for the youth of today. Well, in actual fact, things weren't so bad really. Okay, even though we had to walk 20 miles to school every day in our bare feet through fields which the evil absentee landlord had scattered with shards of broken glass and all we had to eat for lunch was a stale piece of mouldy concrete and a glass of raw sewage and we got flogged within an inch of our lives every day for so much as breathing in, the, in class. Apart from all this, we were still seriously happy. It was tough love. It didn't do us any harm, really. In fact, it made our generation what we are today, i.e. a bunch of bitter, cynical, twisted, overweight, middle-aged wretches struggling to pay off the mortgage the loan of the kitchen extension, the bill for the house insurance, the car insurance, the insurance on the insurance policy itself, and moaning constantly about how, how much better things were for our parents' generation.